Hey streamers, I made you something again. If you go to nutty.gg, you will find a music widget section where you can get Spotify, YouTube music, and Apple music widgets. And once you have them installed, they should look something like this which is pretty nice. Then about four months ago, I made this MP3 decoration to go along with it. But today I made this. Hear me out. See, the animation is supposed to reveal the music player behind it. So it's a transparent video. So the goal here is whenever someone types exclamation mark song, for example, your music player can go up. And of course you can place it wherever you want and make it smaller if you have to and then disappears. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up in OBS Studio, how to change the colors and everything else you need to know to have it look exactly like this. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm going to go pretty fast. I don't want this to be an OBS 101 tutorial. If you don't know much about OBS Studio, you should stay away from this. <laughs> go learn the basics and then come back. We're going to create a new scene. And in that scene, we want our music player. Now, again, this all has to do with Nutty's website. Whether you choose the Spotify, the YouTube music, or the Apple music. I actually haven't tested my code with, uh, with Apple music yet. When you get it, you have instructions to get all that working. That's between you and Nutty. If you have any issues displaying the basic music player, please contact the person who created it, which is not me. But now we're going to add it as a browser source. This is gonna be your music player. And we're gonna paste the link, again, given in the instructions from Nutty's website. And here you want to pay attention because the size is very important. You wanna set this to 650 by 500, okay? Very important. If you click okay, now, within the files that you're gonna download from gumroad.com slash get level, there should be a text file called code. So we're gonna double click on our music player again. We're gonna make sure we delete that custom CSS part. And what we're going to do is just copy paste that code in here. Okay. And once you do so, it should look like this. Now you're going to have a little square and it's going to have little scroll bars on the side, which is not a huge deal. If you want to, you can hold alt and crop them, but they're going to be covered by the animation anyways. So now what you're going to do is add a media source, call it whatever you want. And you're going to import the type of music player you prefer. There's four of them, black, blue with a black menu or like touch menu, whatever it's called. <laughs> blue with a white one and then white with a black menu. For this example, I'm going to choose the blue one because I want to show you how to change the color later on. I'm going to set this to loop for now just so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to click OK. So what I'm going to do now is scale. So now it's just a matter of placing it right behind it. So it just reveals it, right? But you want it to be kind of tight, but right here you see it. You can do a little bit of that and that until it feels accurate. As you can see, the animation already has that like fade transition to reveal the music player in the back. All right, now put them in a group, select both of them, holding shift, right click, group selected items, call it whatever you want. And now you have a group. You can collapse it, you can expand it, you can turn it off and turn it back on. So this is what we're going to utilize to actually show it. In my example, I showed it moving up and down. I use the move plugin for that. If you don't want to use the move plugin or you don't know how to use the move plugin, you can always right click on that group and play around with the show transition and also the hide transition. So instead of moving up and down, it can like fade in, it can swipe in, slide in. There's a lot of things you can do, but instead we'll make it the way it was intended, which is with the move plugin. Again, you don't have to use the move plugin. Also, if you don't want an animation and you want this to just be on screen the whole time, you can pause it. Uh, you just click on the animation and click pause. And there you go. You have a permanent music player. You can just add that to your scene and you're fine. I'm going to right click on this scene go to filters and add a move source filter. This is going to be our music player when it's on top. So what we need to do now is make sure that it's in the position that we want it to be. Again, in my specific case, it was my goal to have it only peak, right? It, it wasn't supposed to show the whole thing. So basically on top, it would look something like this, just so it's not too distracting from the stream, right? So this would be my position top. What I'm going to do now, is after positioning it, go to transform and click get transform. Boom, it saved it. Okay, so now while we're there, what we wanna do is set the custom duration. That is how long do we want it to take to go up to that position? In my case, I'm gonna put 1500 milliseconds. And then we're also gonna set the end delay. The end delay is how long do we want it to stay up before it moves to the next move? <laughs> 
before it moves to the next move. In my case, I want five seconds, so 5,000 milliseconds. And one thing we're gonna do here in order to trigger the animation on time is we're gonna make the group visible when this gets triggered. What it's gonna do is reset the animation automatically. So if I go to visibility and order, I can set that to show at the start of the movement. All right, super easy so far. Now it's time to do the hide position. I'm gonna duplicate that first filter and we'll just call it music player bottom. That's for when it's at the bottom. What we're gonna do is make sure we select the group and we're gonna physically move it down. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and click get transform to register that position. Nice. And then we can play with the rest of the options. So for the bottom position, we want it to be a little faster. So let's go with 1200 milliseconds and delay. We don't want that, <laughs> just put zero. But also remember, we made it visible when it got triggered. Now we need to make it invisible at the end. Okay, so visibility, let's put hide at the end of the movement. Very, very simple. Now, in order to make it automatic, basically, hey, go up, wait those five seconds, and then go down by yourself, we only need to modify one single option. So let's go back to player top. And we're gonna tell player top, <laughs> I'm talking as if the filter was a person. We're gonna go and tell him, okay? Tell him. All the way to the bottom here, we're gonna tell him, hey, once you're done with your move, your next move should be music player bottom. All right? And now let's see what happens. Let me put this here. When I click player top, I forgot to reset it. <laughs> now let's see what happens. When I click player top, there you go. It shows with five seconds and then this appears. That simple, truly that simple. Let me zoom in a little bit. So boom, this gets triggered and your current music shows. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Now, if you have your full screen scene and you wanna add it, let's remove that one. We're just gonna add it as a scene. So source scene, uh, this one is called scene four, I believe. Boom, you're gonna see it's like full screen now. That's when you decide if you wanna place it somewhere, you wanna put it in a corner, make it smaller, whatever. But since we have the filters here, we can just trigger the filter to see what it looks like. That looks pretty good to me. I can set it here and that's it. If you're wondering, oh, how do I make someone type exclamation mark song? That's where you use something like Streamerbot with a command and you just set it to trigger that one filter. That's it. If you have a stream deck, for example, you can also trigger filters with a stream deck. You just set it to that filter. Press the button, boom, goes up, easy. If you don't use StreamerBot, but you use something like Mix It Up or Adam or any other bot, same thing, just trigger a filter. I get a lot of questions like, hey, how do I do this? Very simple, this one step. How do I do it? Do it? I don't know, I, but <laughs> I use StreamerBot. I use StreamerBot, but it's just triggering a filter. Now, in case you do use StreamerBot, you would add a new command. And as a single sub action, you need an OBS scene filter state. All right, so that's right click, add, OBS Studio, Scenes, because our filters are on a scene, and then Set Scene Filter State. It's gonna ask you what scene it is, which filter, it's gonna be the top one, and you just gotta click OK, all right? That's how you add that. And then for the trigger, it doesn't have to be a command. I'm showing you this as an example because that's what I had in mind, but you can add anything as a command. Every time someone types poop in chat, every time you say the word music, because there's voice recognition in StreamerBot, every time you get a raid, every single trigger that is available, you decide which one to use with every single one of my projects, by the way, not just this one. All I do is show you examples so you can let your imagination run wild. Okay, just scroll around, look around, click around. But in this case, I added core, then command, then command triggered. I then created a command. Creating commands is pretty simple. You just type the name of the command. In my case, it was song. And then here you type the command, exclamation mark song. Quick tip here, if you click on sources, you can see YouTube messages. If you wanna turn that on, you can say kick messages. So if you're multi-streaming, everyone can trigger it. Then just click okay, it's that simple. What if I don't use StreamerBot? Figure out how to trigger a filter in your bot. That's it. And we can also test our command. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you how to change the color. <laughs> I just wanted to demonstrate how to 
make it baby pink because I had a request for that. So let's go back here. I'm going to make the group visible and I'm going to bring it up so we can see what we're working with. And to change the color is extremely simple. Just go to the video file, go to filters and add a color correction filter that comes with OBS, right? Color correction. And then from there, let me set it back to default. Just play with the hue shift. Okay. You can see uh, if the saturation doesn't match, what you can do is bump up the saturation. Oh, now it's really popping, right? Whatever color you want. If you want it to be more pastel or something, you can play with the gamma, the brightness, the contrast. That's all up to you. Now uh, we had that pinkish. You might have some artifacts like that, but remember, it's going to be small. It's only going to appear for five seconds on screen. It is not a big deal. And whatever you see at the end here is not even going to be visible. But there you go. Play around with those settings and you get every color you want. Nice. Let's add it to my gameplay scene. Just scene. What is it called? Scene four. Bam. And right now it's not, <laughs> it's not in place, but it's actually good because it lets us um, place it correctly. Something like that should be enough for someone to see the, the name and title. Oh, remember, it's the whole scene. So it's going to look like that. And I can just reset it from here by typing exclamation mark song just once and then it'll be reset it. Right. So right now it shows up and then it's going to go down. OK, we can actually test it. This is what it should look like. Heck yeah. If you want to show the whole iPod, that's on you. You decide. And there you have it. Extremely simple. Once again, if you want to get the music player, maybe get a little familiar with it and all that, that's going to be at nutty.gg. Pick whatever music player you use. And if you want my animation, it's going to be at gumroad.com slash gal level. It looks like this. Make sure you read the whole description before downloading. Check out all the previews. You see exactly what you're getting. Um, there's just one extra file, which, which is going to be the text file that I'm going to add later on. And it's just going to contain the CSS code for the music player to make it square, basically square ish, rectangle ish. <laughs> it is currently pay what you want. So basically free, but if you want to tip, you can also put whatever price you want to pay. And, uh, yeah, I think I gave you all the info. If you like that kind of stuff, make sure you like and share it with your streamer friends for you subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.